Yeah, it's a uh, there, there's there's a shuffling that has to happen. But you know, we, uh, with respect to Makai, he 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 did only practice twice uh, leading up to the game in the last two or three weeks, and uh, so George will go to left tackle, and uh, uh, Mo, uh, Morgan will play right tackle, and it's they've gotten a lot of reps, and uh, so they'll be they'll be able to work. You mentioned with Makai that it's four to six weeks minimum. Um, what goes into that? I mean, is that where it could potentially be longer based on, I mean, what, I mean, how, what, I guess that's what I'm asking. Well, he's getting a second opinion. Obviously, if there's the second opinion reveals that there needs to be surgery, then of course, if there's no surgery, then the rehab time and all that stuff. So it's just all, uh, it's just, like I said, minimum four to six after that, it's, that's more a question for the docs. What did you think of Zach's toughness yesterday? And did it surprise you in any way? No, you know, he's, um, he is a tough kid. Uh, obviously, I, I don't I don't like judging his toughness. Hopefully, you know, ideally, he's he's not his toughness is never judged. But uh, he, um, uh, he he's he's an off schedule quarterback. What, what was what was good to see, if you're going to take the silver lining out of all of it, is that in camp we just we were he was straining to stay in the pocket and go through. And I was like, man, what's it going to look like when he gets his first hit? Is he going to have a feel for the pocket? Is he going to be able to be able, be able to slide and move with the pocket and do things that he needs to do to avoid hits and buy time and gain the extra hitch and all that stuff? And uh, and what was encouraging was, I mean, he had free runners. He made miss. He showed elusiveness. And now it's just a matter of knowing exactly where he needs to go with the ball. Once he's made that first guy miss, you're you're probably not going to make the second guy miss. But uh I uh, thought he was really good in the pocket. Um, he stood in there strong. He did take his lumps. Uh, he can he can learn from it and and learning how to um, do the right things to avoid hits himself. Uh, uh, but overall, I, I thought it was it was promising for him, uh, just his pocket presence and his elusiveness. With some of the pass protection issues, um, is it? How much is it having a rookie quarterback who's in his first game and is maybe seeing some fronts that he's never seen before or, you know, maybe making a wrong, you know, read or not diagnosing things quickly enough? How much of it could be to just to inexperience? You know, there's there's it's I, I'll flat out say like I, I'm standing by it, especially after watching the tape. And I and I get grades get floated around and all that from people who aren't in the scheme uh, game planning sessions. But it's a collective protecting the quarterback is a collective thing. It is not one position group's job to protect the quarterback. The coordinator has got to protect the quarterback. The, the O line's got to protect the quarterback. The receiver's got to protect the quarterback and the quarterback needs to protect the quarterback. And so if you took, I don't know, 20 some odd pressures that we had uh, on the quarterback, I promise you, if you divvied that up on who was responsible, you would guys would see a clean uh, divide amongst all the different position groups and even coaches. And, uh, so we've got to do a better job with the way we one plan, two communicate, three execute our technique, and but four trust. Uh, quarterback has to be able to trust what he sees. Quarterback has to be able to make the right reads. Quarterback has to have a consistent set in his drop. O line has to be able to communicate, execute their technique, trust one another. The backs have to execute. The receivers have to execute. All of them. There's they all took turns uh, on each of those pressures. Everyone took turns on those pressures. And coaches not excluded to this, and uh, and it's just something that we all got to do. Uh, pay to obviously get better at. When you have so much youth, like that's this is why coach. You know, I've talked to you guys before about it before. Youth makes mistakes. Veteran, but they are fast as heck. Veterans don't make many mistakes, but they don't have that youthful juice that they had when they're 29, 30 years old. But at the same time. Uh, you know these these young these young kids were put in a lot of different situations yesterday, and they're only going to get better. They saw a lot of stuff yesterday that that we're hoping they can make that jump to this second game.